Welcome to the Points Diva channel, where I take my viewers to the edge of the world on points and miles. In this video, I flew the amazing Swiss Airlines business class flight. Watch to the end to see how much I spent. I started my journey in the business class lounge out of Zurich, Switzerland. You are greeted with a gorgeous display of Swiss watches. Once you enter, you'll find a map to get a good layout of the lounge. There is one main dining area that had plenty of tables, a quiet room with reclining chaise seats, private desk nooks, and different seating areas with great views of the tarmac. Your observation deck in the Swiss Air business class lounge really nice. For food, they offered a hot buffet with ready-to-order salmon pasta and cherry tomatoes. Y'all, this food was banging. I did have to go back for seconds. I've also learned to fill up on lounge food if it's good. Airplane food can be hit or miss even in business class. When it was time to board my flight, I was surprised to see the long queue for business and economy class. The reason was, since most people have mobile boarding passes, you'll need your passport verified by a gate agent before boarding. After about 30 minutes, we were able to walk down to board. If you're flying first class, you'll have a separate entrance onto the plane. So I just boarded the Swiss Air 777-300 and so far this aircraft is amazing. So a few great things. You have your own personal little suite. So if you're flying by yourself, I have a little suite by myself. Or if you're flying with a partner or a friend, then you can fit something that's in the middle where you both can easily sit beside each other. So far, as soon as you to your seat, they offer your glass of Prosecco, Rosé, or really anything that you want. They do offer a nice little blanket that's wrapped, pillow, and something that I do bring, which I was thankful that my hotel had, I brought my own slippers because not every business class offers that. Now let's get in this goodie bag. We have some um, compression socks. Okay, so they handed me a menu and my German is no longer good anymore. I can kind of decipher what they're saying, but I just want to make sure that I'm not ordering pigeon because that's kind of what I'm translating it to. They would serve pigeon on a flight, would they? I don't know. I think I'm about to order the pigeon on a flight. So I think you gave me a menu that does not have English. No. Is there English? It's just on another there? page. <laughs> There's so many pages. Okay. I was and like... then <laughs> we have everything in like three languages. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Let's talk about the seat. They offered a seat massager, noise canceling headphones, reading light, comfortable blanket, and plenty of storage for your personal items. Once your food arrives, your tray table is prepared with white linen. The first course was a tomato mozzarella salad and offered a variety of cheeses. It was tasty and refreshing. For the main course, I ordered the fish with potatoes. It was cooked well, but lacked seasoning. For dessert, I ordered an apple tart with a port wine. It was just enough food to try to get a few hours of sleep. After finishing up a movie, it was time to take advantage of the lay flat seats and get some rest. Flying back to the US, I try not to sleep too much to beat jet lag. I wanna be able to sleep when I get home. After about three hours of sleep, I went to the galley to get some snacks. There are always snacks and drinks for all passengers throughout your flight. They also offered a hot cheese pastry that was banging. There was no shame in my game to ask for seconds. Now, let's talk about how much I spent. Because Swiss Airlines is part of the Star Alliance, you have a few great options to use miles. The most recognized is United Airlines. You can transfer Chase Ultimate Reward Points to fly with United Airlines. The least recognized is Avianca. Avianca is the largest Colombian airline that is part of the Star Alliance. You can transfer 
American Express, City, and Capital One miles to fly Swiss Air. For this flight, I used Air Canada Aeroplan miles. Air Canada is the largest Canadian airline. You can transfer American Express, Chase, and Capital One miles to fly Swiss Air. There was also a Chase transfer bonus of 20%. I was able to transfer 59,000 miles and I earned 11,800 miles additional. Always be on the lookout for transfer bonuses with credit cards. This will allow you to spend less miles. I also have to mention that Aeroplan miles are great for families because they don't charge the full amount for kids over two years old. All of the mentioned airlines also have their respected credit cards. I have listed down in the comment section below all of the credit cards that I have referenced. It would be great if you use my links. Now, let's discuss the category ratings. For the lounge, I give it a five stars. Y'all, the food was banging, okay? So hopefully if you have a chance to go, you'll be able to get that salmon pasta because it was really good. Also, that observation deck was actually really, really nice. Not too many places you can have an amazing view of the Swiss Alps in the background. For the food, I give it a four. And this is basically the airline food. There was a great variety. You had meat, you had vegetarian options, you had your seafood options. Even though it was a little bland, that little cheese pastry that I had too made up for everything. It was really, really good. And they also had a great selection of premium alcohol. Now for service, I give it a four. The staff was pretty attentive and nice. My only complaint is they weren't as proactive as I would have liked. Now for those that aren't used to flying or are a bit timid, you would not have maybe felt comfortable with asking for pretty much everything that you needed. So they didn't really come around to refill your water without you asking or, you know, just refilling your wine or whatever it is that you're drinking. So that would be my only complaint about that. For value, I give it a five. Even without that transfer bonus, the miles options and being able to transfer with many different credit cards make this an amazing value. The ticket price of this normally would have been around $5,000 and I actually paid hundred US dollars for my taxes. Now for the seat, I give it a five. The seat was comfortable, the massager was a nice touch and that isn't common on planes and you could easily get a good night's rest on the leaf flat beds. So overall, this was a great flight. I would definitely fly Swiss Airs again. Now, have you flown Swiss Air? I would love to hear your comments in the comment section below. Also, if you would like to learn more about how to travel on points and miles, you can sign up on my website, pointsdiva.com for free training material. Also, if you need a little additional help with booking a trip, you can reach out via my website and I can book you one of my consultation services. Thank you for watching and be on the lookout for the next review of Prague Czech Republic.